how does the how does it how does this sync with uh, Google Ads to track the conversions? Do you is there a code that you guys generate? That... It syncs beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me. Um, I want to show you something because it's really important, and I think we did really well. Um, let me go. I'll just go in here. So I'm going to go to another account here. I might have to change the date range. You're going to mess up the, the demo here by asking that question. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, yeah, the, don't worry about the data and all that. But when I, so I'm looking at all the, um, the Google ads things here and, and what comes through. And then what you can do here is we have a column where it's, where is it now? I just got to find it. It's in this account, we've added a lot. Yeah, Google ads conversion. So what this does is it tells you, like we send that ad conversion to Google. And then when Google receives it, it sends back a notification that it's successful. So if any conversions don't go through, it will show like failed and then it will give you an error message. So how? Do, so my question is, how does it send it to Google? Is it, um, does, does what converts directly yes, I'm gonna it with your MCC or your Google ads account? Yeah, absolutely. So integrations, we do it great. So here, oh, Google, cool. Google Ads. Okay. So we have a native integration with Google Ads and Google Analytics, also Search 360. Yeah. So you just log into your Google Ads account and then it automatically, will yeah. what converts automatically create a conversion action in the Google Ads account? Exactly, yeah. So okay. you got. So this is your MCC, this is your account, this is your lead conversion name, this is your call extension conversion name. Um, now, this is something different that most people don't have. You can choose. Do you want first click or last click? Like what attribution window do you want to look at? You know, so yeah. we give you a look back window. So this mm -hmm. one's set at first click for 90 days. The other thing we do that most people don't do is you can choose to send a lead when it's, well, like when all leads are received, we send them all those conversions, or you can send it only qualified leads, or you can send it only once we have a sales value. Oh, cool. Yeah. So those triggers... What we've been finding is the, the companies that qualify leads, they're saying once they do this, the accuracy and the automated bidding works so much better. Yeah. So we just see the, the Google bidding engine, the cleaner the fuel, meaning the cleaner your data, the better yeah. it's going to run. And That's then really it's a cool like, feature. Yeah. The other feature we have here is before you could only send one update to a conversion. Now we've built it in that you can update an existing conversion. So where this applies is, if you have a client where initially they come in and it's a small test order, like a plumber, they come out for an emergency call just to inspect the line. And that may be a hundred dollar call out, but then afterwards it becomes like a $10,000, like sewer drain replacement. You can then update that conversion with the, the increased value. Wow. So, That's yeah. really cool. So essentially you're patching, you're bridging that gap of, um, does a lead turn into a sale in Google? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If you have actual sales data, you can. Yeah, and if you have the sales off. value, you can, you know, do your return on ad spend when it's yep. lead lead based instead of e commerce based. Very cool. Yeah, and the e commerce guys that use us, they typically people who, um, if you've got an e commerce site that also has a big phone number where people phone in orders as well, because it's usually a larger ticket item you know, what converts does great because we've got the e-commerce order and you've got the phone order and you can tie it together and attribute it properly. Um, and then you have the value as well. So I love those accounts. It's awesome.